Hey all, I'm here to do an explanation video on why the Rise of Skeletor Part 3 took so long this intro f***ing sucked. But, um, I wanted to talk about the Rise of Skeletor Part 3 because it's also kind of the reason why the Rise of Skeletor Part 4 isn't out yet. Now, we have made progression on the Rise of Skeletor Part 4, but I'm just gonna say this, it's not much. Don't get excited. To keep you guys happy with my bullshit, um, here's a cat laying right here. So initially, the reason why the Rise of Skeletor Part 3 f took so long, I don't really need need to explain anything else on the main reason is just uh i was just not having it i was lacking the motivation i had just reached 2000 subs at the time i believe i'm not even too sure at this point and um pvz episode 34 had come out like four months before that and we were on the rise of skeletor it was like the climax on that particular story arc like i said the reason why the rise of skeletor part 3 took so long i was just lacking the motivation i just didn't know what i wanted to do with the story and also i did i felt like i had led it up to have high expectations but i honestly just didn't think it would live up to that potential because at the time I was making like these stupid freaking videos and uh, They were just really poorly edited and I was using iMovie at the time, which is a really sh editing software I would not recommend it to anyone who wants their videos to look good at least so I was using iMovie at the time And I wanted the Rise of Skeletor Part 3 to look really good But I feel like iMovie wouldn't ever live up to that potential for the Rise of Skeletor Part 3 We redid the entire story well not the entire story but we did a lot of aspects of it like around the time we only had we only ever did one scene originally and it was the one scene in the beginning of the video where gatling p is listing all the freaking wars he was in explaining that they have to send the babies away that was the only scene we ever did and i redid that and all these other scenes because i wanted it to look as good as possible but i just felt like it wouldn't the months went on bf my three we came out with and then we waited for even longer and then we did a, a little bit more videos and then we did more BFMI and then we did and then we I stopped for a couple more months and then I did BFMI 9 and then we went on for a couple more months without doing anything and then 10 came out and then eventually just a streak of BFMI videos happened and those weren't really, were really really doing so well I mean it was what I liked most but obviously not you guys so everything changed after BFMI 22 after that that was one of the last videos I did on iMovie because whenever BFMI 23 happened, Test Dummy, he's like, he's the tech person who I associate with. He knows basically everything there is about tech. But, uh, he proposed to me this new editing software called DaVinci Resolve, specifically 15, and it had all these cool features and it had everything else in it. And I was like, well, what can this thing do exactly? And he's like, well, I'm gonna make a YTP of the Test Dummy Vlogs thing we did on his channel. You can go watch it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would honestly rather watch the YTP, even though it has a bunch of dead memes in it. Yeah, he initially did the YTP, and I was like, holy shit, you did all of this with the DaVinci Resolve thing? And he's like, yeah, all with the DaVinci Resolve. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, I'll, I'll start using this. And then I did BFMI 23, and I'm like, oh my god, why the f did we not do this earlier? It's so much easier to edit. I can actually cut things, I can add sound effects without it taking 20 years. Honestly, what I would used to do with the sound effects, because downloading things was always a pain in the ass for iMovie, I would do the record your own sound effect thing and I would just play my iPad's music into it and that was the music that you heard in the videos up until 23. But with 23, it was just so much easier and I was like, holy sh**, why did we not do this before? So I was like, oh my god, wait, what if I can actually make the Rise of Skeletor Part 3 live up to its potential like I wanted it to? So I plotted out the Rise of Skeletor Part 3, we did that, we freaking nailed it in my opinion. I mean, yeah, there were some flaws in the video which I would rather go back and fix because like that was my first big step on Vi Da Vinci Resolve because I wasn't really too sure how to use it. I just kind of learned along the way. It was kind of like a tutorial of Da Vinci Resolve because I know a lot of things off the back of my hand like green and screening stuff that was so hard to do a couple months ago because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But um yeah, the Rise of Skeletor Part Three happened and um I fucking I love it. I watch it in my free time and uh yeah so that was happened. I was happy with myself and 
I thought, okay, let's maybe we can actually maybe I can actually get this channel on a decent pace. So at that end of Rise of Skeletor Part Three, I put Rise of Skeletor Part Four coming soon, early 2021. Which in any case, you would just assume early is the first four months, middle is the middle four months, and the end of 2021 is the last four months. And obviously, the first four months. This is actually being filmed on the last day of the first four months. I don't know when this will be coming out. This is being filmed on April 30th right now. But um, yeah, that happened on this day. Obviously, I've reached my deadline, and I don't. I have barely anything done. I said I would explain what what's up with the Rise of Skeletor Four. So obviously, y'all want it. The Rise of Skeletor Part Four has made a bit of progression, but not as much as any of us were hoping for. The Rise of Skeletor Part Four has very little done. Well, I wouldn't say little, but I was lacking the motivation again after, because, okay, so we did the Rise of the Tour 3, I was like, hell yeah, let's do this, the Rise of the Tour 4. Coming soon. Let's get on it. Let's get this thing out. Let's please our fans for once. But then I was like, hmm. Now that I'm actually starting to pay attention to my channel again, I noticed that all these plush collections, people tend to like them. And um, I haven't actually done one at all. So for in the last year, I hadn't done a Mario one in three years. I hadn't done a Pokemon one in like four years. I hadn't done a Kirby one at all. And I haven't done a PVZ one in a year. The 2021 was barely a collection. It was like 16 plushes in that video. And it was mainly just a view reel and so I decided hmm maybe we should actually do some more now that I, we actually have this new software it can make my videos look better so I did the collections it was such a pain in the ass we did it right after the rise of skeletal part three so like if I were to go in this room now completely spotless there's not a strain of stuffing anywhere there's not a single plush in sight and um this bed came from the other room due to family purposes uh yeah so this room is completely cleaned out i got everything in the game room to do the plush collection and that's what we did and um i divided up the collection to please the certain fans because it seemed like the best way to do it and um after that i was so f done because the plush collection i had like three hours of film probably probably more than that in total because i honestly didn't know how i wanted to do it so i just i just laid out the plushes i just you know went over them i had to cut so much stuff out every couple seconds i would have to cut out a gap in between my words because i tried to do it during the sunlight but we didn't have that much sunlight so i had to do it early on and that was already a with school purposes just making me so tired after the day i barely was able to speak during those videos and so after i did that i was so fucking exhausted because even after recording all that shit and moving all my plushes into the game room i had to edit it and that was the worst part of it all oh he's a good little baby you wanna leave okay you can leave you've done your part but yeah after i got uh, done editing that stupid video i was like okay um this priority is done time to get back to the main focus let's do the rise of skeletor part four but i jesus christ i don't want to do this shit. that's literally what i said to myself and i was just losing the motivation at that time so but um i wanted to do another bfmi video since we hadn't done one of those in a while so i pulled everyone together and um we did bfmi 25 so that happened bfmi 25 is probably my favorite bfmi now because bfmi 24 did happen like sometime before the all the plush collections and i did a couple other shorts too like the country roll thing and the the um the stairs and the uh the ow my female genitals yeah the those happened and I was like okay I think I'm getting the hang of this software now so then I got to the plush collection and I was just too worn out after that and now we're here where we stand today so the rest of Skeletal Pro 4 is back in production I do have a good part of it done I managed to pull all the story together I didn't even know another reason why it took a bit little bit is because I didn't even know how I wanted the story to be laid out at first like I literally went onto discord I went on one of my dead friends old accounts and I typed out how I wanted it to to look and um there's just other stuff but uh, wait i actually can't show you that but uh yeah i had to go into my dead friend's dm just to actually type out what i wanted it to look like and then i started filming some of it and uh i got about maybe a good <laughs> um eight or ten minutes of it filmed and uh maybe about four of those minutes edited right now but i'm trying to get back into the flow of things i'm gonna try to kick it into high gear again and that's basically all i can say about the the update right now what's going on with the rise of skeletor and just other stuff uh another thing i could show you real quick hold on 
the game room is also completely cleaned out. It took so long to get everything out because of the collection that took place. And um, this is just characters that are going to be important in the story. These are also characters that will be used in the Rise of Skeletor Part 4. And um, this is everything else. I actually have them sorted for once and not just strung out all over the floor. Well, sort of. I didn't have enough bins. And if you're wondering why this bed is gone, like I said, it's for family purposes. It's in the... Rise of Skeletor Port room that you saw earlier, and um, yeah, this is basically all that has happened, that is going to happen, hopefully. I'm gonna try to get back into the flow of things. The secret for the Rise of Skeletor Part 3's delay is out, and the Rise of Skeletor Part 4 coming soon, hopefully. I'm not promising anything, but I'm gonna try to get back into the flow of things. And, um, that's pretty much it for this update video. I will see you all on the flip side.